All right, guys, Fukage here, and welcome back to the brand new video. Here we are, Jujutsu Kaisen Phantom Parade will be the topic. On today's video, I will give you the full guide about the Phantom Parade early gacha. Uh, what you should summon for. Again, it is RNG, right? But I just want to tell you what are the best characters, the best SSRs you should go for, uh, the best cubes the best amount of cubes to take and as well i will talk about the ssr memory cards uh, leave a like subscribe your opinions in the comment section below by memory cards i mean recollection beats okay check out my previous video for a full guide how to acquire those free summons and how the event works and everything else and as well for the people who don't know we got the official launch date which is 7th of november so from now when i'm recording three weeks to go and we're gonna have a global launch this is a super important event because here you can summon stuff early and then when the game launches you can get them and acquire them in the game and this is, this is a big advantage and this is a must so you shouldn't do these mistakes that i will mention right now so every single day make sure to do today tasks like this you, you're gonna acquire those free summons today you were able to get 13 free summons i believe like this every single day we're gonna be able to get a certain amount i'm not sure are we are we gonna really get 13 summons per day i hope so because we have one more time so eventually we should be able to get almost op stuff so this is how this works so pretty much like i told you you have to do today task and you're gonna get the free summons and then you have my backpack okay here you will get the characters you summon for you will get all recollection bits you summon for and all items you summon for. My advice is, guys, my advice is just summon, 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 summon. Collect them right here. Take your time and then decide, okay, I'm taking this character to the backpack. Or I'm taking this recollection beats to the backpack and so on and so on and so on. So you're going to summon all characters, beats and items and then you're going to choose which which of those you want to put here so you put one character you put one recollection bits and one item so in today's video i want to deliver the full guide which character you should take which recollection bits you should take and which um, item you should take so let me first check out the probability so in the phantom parade early gotcha event there'll be a character of real or recollection beats with rarity of sr or higher okay this is something that i explained right now so there is no point let me talk about really quickly about the rates and then we're gonna go to the main topic so we have 2.5 percent chance to pull an ssr character you have five percent chance to pull ssr recollection beats uh 10 chance for sr and 20 percent for the sr collection beats recollection beats and then cube we have 62.5 guys related to the cubes uh, when you get the 1000 gems like i did uh, you can put them right here okay you can put it to the back uh, backpack why because that's the highest amount you can get so uh, i'm good with that okay so the cubes you go for 1000 now let me talk about the memories okay um i call the memories there's so much easier to to, to call like them uh, to call like that then recollection beats but okay i need to uh, i need to use the right terms for global here in my opinion there are good memory cards from here but in my based on my experience playing the uh early game of jp version the best memory card on global launch would be just give me a moment click here for the memories my bad I, I thought i have it open this one this one is extremely broken it is called mission starts it's on global that's the right name on global and why this memory is so good because blue gojo absolutely love this memory but as well any other dps why 
because look at this when a command skill or ultimate skill is active increase own critical hit rate by 60 percent for three turns this is huge guys this is huge from the start of six turn increase own time jutsu and jujutsu damage by 20 this is huge because you have for example blue gojo who is doing the all the ultimate and if you don't crit you won't see that big of a damage but when you crit, oh my god, it's on another level. Now, go, don't get me wrong, in the beginning still, if you don't crit, Blue Gojo will destroy everything. But this memory card in my eyes is something that I am aiming for and it's something that I want to get, okay? There are other memory cards that could be usable, uh, but let me have... Um, but I'm, I, I, if you get this, just take this. That is my opinion. Uh, I didn't try all of these memory cards, plus I'm not 100% sure because of some translations which all memory cards will be on global launch. But I assure you this is the memory card that you should aim for, at or at least one of the memory cards you should aim for, for sure. Uh, just so you know. Let me just double check a few things. Uh, this one... Uh, activates with command or special skill increases the special guard recharge rate by 30 percent this one is also really really good because uh you speed uh, uh, special guide recharge rate by 30 that's pretty huge you will get the ultimate really fast with this memory card and let me double check unity makes strength do we have yeah unity from top to bottom yeah because of those translations i'm not sure which type of uh, memories will be here for 100 percent because of translations but based on everything what i know mission uh, starts is the way to go and this as well is a nice um, memory to go for but mainly you should focus on the SS ssr characters and they're more important uh, but definitely i would like to highlight these two memories as well you in the comment section below tell me which other uh beats how they're called oh my god i'm going insane i'm going insane beats yeah uh, okay good so put what other beats do you recommend in the comment section below so other people can see this is my two recommendation especially this one okay now let's go to most important part and and that is the characters okay so we can go even on the tier list it will be super practical still today on jp guys blue gojo is still crazy unit so if you pull blue gojo you are good bro take that ssr take that ssr and put it in the backpack if you pull gojo here put it in the backpack please guys do not put an sr units in the backpack it's not worth it you're gonna get them anyways on the global launch yeah there is certain broken support sr characters i can talk about them roughly uh but here you want to aim for blue gojo or or since you need to get lucky at the end of the day for the global launch i assure you one of the craziest units in the game will be Nobara. Okay, Nobara will be producing insane amount of damage. So Gojo, really briefly want to talk about him because I already did cover this million times. So he is like, he's in the battle for seven turns. No one can touch him. No one can hurt him. No damage. Even after seven turns, he's saying bye-bye. <laughs> During that seven turns, he can uh, buff. He can provide big damage. Uh, but especially when you time everything perfectly, you can use a big, massive AoE damage. And you're going to be able to solo a lot of stages using only Gojo in the beginning. But don't worry, uh, after some time, that 7 turns will become a problem. And you're going to need the help of others. So, Nobara will be one of those must-have characters with Blue Gojo. Uh, she is working a sense of nail count. So pretty much you want to stack nail counts as much as possible. Uh, increase own damage in the right uh, time. And then you're going to do much crazy big damage with the ultimate. I mean crazy big damage with the ultimate. So literally top first choice is Gojo. Second choice is Nobara. 
and honorable mentions now pretty much honorable mentions because if you maybe don't get gojo and obara then definitely you can go for for uh, itadori he'll be extremely good in the beginning you'll do a massive damage and you will have the ultimate really really fast so itadori is those honorable mentions as well maybe if you get super unlucky and you don't manage to pull any type of ssrs um then you should definitely if you pull an ssr and no ssr unfortunately then one of the best ssr still today in the game for support is masamichi freaking ads <laughs> masamichi yaga right uh, and he'll be just buffing everything guys he'll be just buffing your damage he'll be decreasing the damage of the enemies just absolutely busted unit and it will be busted for a long time guys the best sr unit probably in the game still today on jp uh so guys this is pretty much my like i said top two choices to go with if you don't manage to get them go for this sr and again oh or or even better go for this ssr tedori if you don't manage to get other ssrs but yeah as well this sr if you get stupidly unlucky at the end of the day so guys this is pretty much the full guide again recollection beats if you agree with me which i'm certain about those two memory cards i've been using them on the early jp and i remember it was broken and so much helpful so but you can add more bits that are worth it so other people can see okay guys that's it hope you did enjoy it again don't make a huge mistakes and put wrong wrong stuff in the backpack because again you would miss out on a ton because you're taking this to your global launch bro which is 7th of november okay guys with this we're gonna end the video hope you did enjoy it leave a like subscribe and yeah see you next one bye